Jim Morrison would constantly sit out here, staring out at the ocean, tripping on acid. He once said the most important kind of freedom is to be who you really are. There's no My aunt once came to LA and made an interesting observation. She said, everyone has a car. Cars are everywhere. Look at all the people on the freeways driving somewhere, but no one's going anywhere. To me, this kind of sums up LA, a place where dreams collide with reality. Everyone thinks they're going somewhere and they know what they want, but do they ever really reach their destination? Dude, what are you up to? Listen, I've got my dad's caddy for the day. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming over. Adjusting a little help from Natasha convinced the rest of us to skip out on graduation. Imagine 4,000 20 watt bulbs illuminating 13 enormous lighters. 30 feet wide, 50 feet tall. Hollywood land. It must have been impressive. There was a caretaker who lived in a small house behind the sign. His job was just to change the bulbs. Then some weird stuff started happening. What kind of weird stuff? Well, in 1932, actress Peg Aunt Lessel left to her death off the H. How do you know that creepy man didn't push her off? Because <laughs> there was a suicide note. There's also reportings of a woman in 1930s clothing with the smell of gardenias, Peg's favorite perfume, haunting the sign. And then what happened? Well, in 1978, they built a new one. One for the new millennium. And a beacon of hope for all future filmmakers. Thank you. Retracing our steps from over a year ago seemed like a risky thing to do, but Jesse thought it was time to put the past behind him. Jesse and I had grown closer over the day, and I can tell that behind his smile there was something weighing heavily on his mind. Watch when the lights are off, does she feel at home when the people are gone? Distractions fall into her open arms. Why 
Doesn't Nicole like me? Nicole's a hard person to get to know. Just give her time. Do you think she'd like me better if she knew I liked water sports? <laughs> the only water sport Nicole likes is taking a bath. Come on, stick to architectural wood. You'd be much happier. But you can't touch it and hold it. I love architecture, but... I love Nicole more. Come on, Trev, let's swim out past the breakwater. That's a little far, man. There's sharks. Don't be a pussy. Let's go. Trevor! Trevor! He dropped us off and headed home, ready to tell his dad everything. He had gone through the fire and came out alive and ready to continue on with his life. He didn't want to have any more secrets from his dad. I'm sorry I took the car without asking. Just glad to have you home. Something I need to talk to you about. I haven't been completely honest. Uh, no, no, not now. I don't deserve it. Let me be the judge of that. Dad, I'm sorry. I screwed up. Come here. I never tell you that I used to take your mommy out in the county? Yeah, a hundred times, Dad. Did I also tell you that I proposed to her in it? You said she cried when you asked her. <laughs> I always did have a good memory. I met this girl today, Dad. She's something special. Why is that? She's a writer. She has this way of observing people and, and life. It's... Does she say she's a writer? Well, yeah, I mean, she writes in her journal. Oh, I mean, she's a writer. And she should be that writer and never apologize for it. Let me tell you something. To say you're something and to truly believe it means you're halfway to actually doing it. Huh. You follow? Yeah. <laughs> Good. She got a name? Sam. She writes religiously. Anything in particular? It's a novel. It's called Cadillac City. <laughs> well, that's a solid title. You know, in my day, no other luxury car that could even compare to the Cadillac. I mean, it was in a class all by itself. You know what it was? It was the car that dreams were made of. <laughs> what is reality? What is success? What is true freedom? Jesse said that his dad's favorite Cadillac represented the glamour of Camelot. It was an era where men wore suits, ties, and hats on a daily basis, even in the sweltering heat. Now, it's an era of Facebook, the internet, reality shows, and instant communication. Jim Morrison said it best, freedom is to be what you really are. Do we trade in our reality for a role? Do we put on a mask in exchange for our ability to feel? All six of us got to take off our masks. What car represents the quintessential American dream? Our freedom, our ability to go where and when and as far as we want to go. It was the Cadillac. And isn't Los Angeles and Hollywood the ultimate dream factory? This is Cadillac City. Cadillac City is a place I know Cadillac City seems
Dad.